What about if you dress up as a duck? Maybe, guys, we need to go a little bit back to the drawing board. Oh, it's, it's a pleasure. <gasps> oh, that's rude. Look how dusty they, they, they look. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. If you, you could just... A tiny bit of me? Yeah. Please, just... Oh, come on. I'll tell you right now who our celebrity judges are, yes. and it is... Hey, CBG fam! Today is a really important, important, important video yes. because we Seriously. have got a major debate in the house, and it's literally divided <laughs> our whole entire household. Me and Grace want to hatch baby ducks. Yes. And, and these course. two Grinches, go on. You're the Grinch. When it comes to Christmas, you're the Grinch. We're this not isn't Christmas. Christmas. This but, is Duckmas. So to settle our debate, we are both making videos and we're going to send them to celebrity judges and they're going to decide whether we're getting ducklings or not. So we're leaving a major life decision up to some mystery celebrity judges. Yeah. So the idea is that me and Grace are going to go and make a pitch, a video, a promo, oh, a good. presentation to get ducklings and they're going to make a video for all the reasons why we shouldn't get ducklings. Which is ridiculous. Ridiculous. So let's go and shoot the videos. Okay. We've just wasted the first 20 minutes of our time cleaning this whiteboard. Okay, so start with some ideas on the board. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Write these words on the board. Emotion. We need to really get across our point with like emotion rather than yeah. facts. I think that's how we're gonna win. Story. We need to have a story. Love. Love, yeah, that's a good one. Cute. And then some facts. Little facts. <laughs> that's like a rapper. Little facts. Okay, oh, we, or we could do a rap. No, that would be bad. That would no, be no, really no. terrible. Do not do that. Bad idea. You know what we need? We need a slogan. Every good campaign has a slogan. Meanwhile... I'm mum. Let me sit in the chair. No, I'm sitting on my chair. It's my I room. I can't sit on a tiny little stool. Yes, <laughs> she can. It shakes. Go on, sit on it. Oh. I see? It's not very comfy though, is it? What? So you want your child to suck on? Yes. We've got our little duck. Right, let's Google bad things about having ducks. Seven reasons why no, you should not chickens. Not chickens. Ducks. Ducks. Ducks will poop literally everywhere. So we need to work out how we're going to present this because of course a lot of people are just going to say yes because they're cute. Like we agree they're cute, mm -hmm. right? Do we need to present this? I don't know how though. Or what about doing it like a news report? Like just in. Family have got baby duck. Thought it'd be cute. Poo no, everyone everywhere. Everyone does that. It's so basic. Okay, so then what then? What's your idea of how we present it? Guys, this is actually so hard. I'm not creative at these things. Meanwhile, I think we should work on the story now. Now the story has to like make people yeah. feel something, yeah? Alright, so I've got a good idea. Yeah. Okay? Do you want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. Boy, if you- So when I was younger, yeah, I had a baby chick. Yeah, you told me. Yeah, okay. So I'm thinking that we sort of play off of that, like, we start the story with like me, like, like a little. young, young boy. Yeah, I have a baby chick. And like yeah. what it meant to me, yeah? yeah? Okay. But then we'll come to you because this isn't really about me. It's about you. Yeah. And obviously we're going to use Chloe and Sophie in this because that's going to be like a good... And we can name one of them Sophie because that's what Sophie wants. <gasps> yeah, okay, good. This is Grace's life. She does and also doesn't get the ducks. Grace's life will be great if she's allowed to have yeah. baby ducks. And then if not, I'll be like really sad yeah and like, i could be watching netflix with my cover on me and loads of chocolate yeah and like and like you don't and you don't you could you do you you want you want you because you never experienced the love of like baby ducks and then we need to get sophie whenever he's like oh what do you want to name this sophie Sophie. Yeah, she okay. loves so we'll do like a we'll do like little interviews yeah because if we they've already named the ducks yeah like how could we not get yeah. the ducks Guys, we, we are on to a winner with this. This is probably what, like, Mum and Casey's video is going to look like. Sorry, so, we don't think you should get ducks. They're messy. They stink. Everyone I've spoke to, they just say they stink. And um, they don't... Where would we put them? Where would we put them? Yeah. And, um, and like, and like, who's going to clean them up? Yeah, I would have to be the one clearing them up because the gross thing sure I won't clear them up. Yeah. Okay, so you've pretty much already seen what their video yeah. can look like. We're going to write down all our points as to why we don't think we should have ducks in this house. Very loud. And a, a big one. Joel's asthma. Yeah. Allergies. I think we've got some very valid points. 
that make me think we're gonna win this. But how are we gonna make this interesting that then we're listened to? Because if we literally just say blah, 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 it's gonna be boring, right? Yeah. What about if you dress up as a duck? What? Oh my God. <laughs> what we need is we need like a picture of, of a little yeah, boy with a light, chick. like, yeah. Blonde hair, like blonde hair. handsome. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like, I probably was handsome. Okay. Okay. Um, what did you wear when you were younger, like shorts and t-shirts? I mean, I feel like if we can find a picture of a boy Blue with blonde hair with a chick, we shouldn't yeah. be too worried about what he's wearing, because if we get too specific, <laughs> we're never going to find gonna it. They're not going to know what you're wearing <laughs> when you're younger. These okay, so bright. these are the sort of images we want. Look, I didn't have There's glasses, hair, but look. look. It's not like oh, you, look. but still, it's like, it okay. looks so cute. Okay, yeah, let's save that one. So we've, we've actually got our script, haven't we? Yeah, we've got like a lot of Like it's good. Yeah. Like it's it's really, really good. The only thing that we need now is a slogan. Like uh, we need I've, to like, really need a slogan. I haven't got like a slogan, but I've got an idea. So we've said a lot about how the duck brings happiness. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to write something, we should write something about that. But like with a slogan, like it has to be like really punchy short, and like um, short and like catchy. Catchy. So it's got to be something to do like the word duck. Like what rhymes with duck? Oh no. Luck. Okay, I was thinking something else. Yeah, I know. Why does that rhyme with duck? Tuck, luck. Pluck's not a good word, no. is it? That's, not <laughs> That's really not a good word. Truck. That just makes you yeah. feel like stuck. Buck. Chuck. These aren't really good. Cluck. That, they don't cluck though, do they? <gasps> oh, that's rude. You don't want to do a news report. You, you say that's not very yeah, not good. news, more like a interview of like an expert, but then you could ask questions that relate to the points we have. Do you want to be the expert and I ask the questions? Yeah. Right, this is my school blazer. I'm going to have to get something to cover the name. Oh, I've got some duct tape. Get it? That is not funny. Du duct tape. <laughs> right, right. Okay, Chloe, whose side are you on? She's listening to Baby Ducks. Whose side are you on? Oh my gosh, where have you got all this makeup from? <gasps> do you think ducks are messy? Tell the camera. That's messy. Yeah, and do you think they're smelly? Yeah. Do you think we should get them? Yeah. What? What about if we make you a badge to put there? We should stick them to my blazer. Okay, I got some ducks. Oh, this is embarrassing. Look at me, mate. Do you really need the blazer? Should we just super glue? Sophie, can you help us with our video? Yeah. What? Yeah. Do you want to be on our video? Yeah? No. Well, let me tell you what it's about before you say no. Coco, do you want to, Coco, do you want to be on our video? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me close the door. Oh, what an appropriate song she's listening to. Yeah. And on that farm, he had a... Wow. A duck. He had a duck. Yeah. Old MacDonald had a farm And on that farm he had a Cow A duck A duck A duck Right, Sophie, I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? So, I feel like we need one of those, like, boards, like Action Okay, I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? Would you like to get a baby duck? Writing the questions down for we're having an interview with a duck profession and it is so funny. Mum is going. We switched roles, so Mum's going to be doing duck professional thing, and I'm going to be doing the interview just because Mum did it better than me. We're writing down the questions. It's so funny. I think Mum finds it more funny than me though. Oh, <laughs> she was no, crying. No, I was crying. Um, okay, so I'm like, so I'm like a therapist to the stars. <laughs> I'm like a therapist to the ducks. So, um, and I'll say, um, so welcome back. So, hey. welcome, ba welcome back to, to uh, welcome back yeah. to DVG News. DVG News. Okay, say so it to the camera. Look at Casey. Say, welcome back. Welcome back to your video. No, say, welcome back. Welcome back to DVG News. DVG News. Hi. Got my ducks in a row. Oh, thank you. It's an absolute pleasure. They say it with a better voice. These are really dirty, aren't they? Oh, it's it's a pleasure. Oh, like this? Like, do I talk yeah. like this? Like, it's a pleasure. It's <laughs> really hard to keep that up, I think. <laughs> I feel if I talk like this, it could help. <laughs> um, wait, wait. You can't do that. <laughs> I don't want to shake the camera. 
I was thinking with that bit, we should say, do you recommend, and you go, my dad, somebody with allergies, okay. someone that is allergic to dark feathers. Okay. We've got our camera set up on a tripod now. We're gonna film our like, voiceover. Story bit. Yeah, yeah like story bits now. And I've gotta be quite serious. Let me tell you a story. No, it's too much. Is there not that mic? No. We didn't really have much budget on the production for this, so no. we couldn't really afford a microphone. <laughs> oh, oh, she's ruining our script. Sophie, you're literally writing over our script. Look at her face. I didn't do that. You didn't do it? I mean, I feel like you did. I didn't do that by myself. Who else done it? The ghost? Mm -hmm. We can just film, we just want to, it's literally a tiny bit of you. If you, you could just. A tiny bit of me? Yeah. Here, yeah, film my finger. No. That's, a tiny bit that's not even funny, that's a really that dad joke. Right, sit down. Well, why should I? Please, just, oh, come on. We're on a roll here. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> If you just, what if you, you just, do? just sit down, kind of, yeah. if you just maybe just like plump the cushions yeah. and then take your inhaler, that's all I want from you. No, Dad, don't do it. No, no, you'll say you're going to be like a lady to it, it's not. Let's, we obviously don't know what they're trying to do, so let's just go along with it, because at the end of the day, I'll be guessing them all. Can't breathe. I can do it for a pick. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so let's go edit. Okay. Edit. Sophie, let me see your face. Wow, we beautiful girl all Fashion. over the world. We just realised there's actually some stuff that we yeah. left out of our video. So we really went with like the story, emotion, and we kind of left out facts. facts. And because Sarah just got me to film the bit with inhaler, we know what angle they're coming from. And we need to make sure we've got yeah. like a counter argument for that. So we're gonna film a little section about facts. F-A-C-T-S. F-A-C-T-S. That spells facts. That's a fact. Facts. Oh, I didn't know you were gonna say that. Oh, okay. We'll you do didn't it again. tell me. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. Facts. facts. Oh, you did it with an American accent. I didn't know. Do it again. So I, I would, would be, be so, so look at the camera and say sad. Sad. And we go sad. And pretend to cry. What? Go sad and then baby cry. Wow. Do baby crying. Okay, say sad. <laughs> Show me laughing. <laughs> Show me angry. <laughs> Show me crying. <laughs> no, that's, that's not, not crying. crying. <laughs> So, how are you getting on with yours? We are good, we are just editing. I'm so. desperate to show you the intro. Casey just keeps going on, she wants to show us the intro, but just the intro, okay? Okay. Okay, we finished filming ours. We haven't started editing yet though, but obviously you guys okay, have. Ready? Okay, ready Grace, come here. Okay, ready Grace, you watching? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's made me feel like maybe guys we need to go a little bit back to the drawing board. Oh gosh. Okay, so now for the hard bit and we have to edit all the footage together <laughs> and make an epic masterpiece. All right, it's getting late, as you can see. Grace is yawning. <laughs> um, we're so nearly done. Grace is gonna go to bed. I'm gonna finish off the last bits, and then tomorrow morning, the video will be complete, and then we can see, and fingers crossed that we get this, because we really, really want these chicks. Ducks. Baby ducks. Ducks. I mean, that's how much we want them. I don't even know what they are. We really want these ducks. Baby ducks. Good morning, neighbours! Good morning! So, Casey and Mum were up till, what, midnight? Midnight. Editing yours? Yep. I was up till, like, half ten, and then I went to bed. I sent you to bed, like yeah. a responsible parent. Can we just say Did that? Did you send Casey to bed, like a responsible parent? I look parent? tired still. Um, I have to do it. Yeah, she, well, obviously she has to do it. It's the first oh, yeah. time I've ever watched an edit, ever. Like, I've were never seen... Impressed? No, my no. eyes hurt. Oh, okay. I kind of got like it looked quite easy. Well, yes, like, I was really impressed with Casey's. So, oh no, I am skills. very, I am very <laughs> impressed with Casey's. 
What I was very impressed is that she was able to like know when to come back at which point she wanted. Like she'd be like, yeah, yeah it was very hard. When I just watched Dad, because I obviously, cause I'm obviously doing editing now. Well, I've only done one, but he's just she look, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's what comes with years of experience. Yes. Oh, and what about you? What do you want to say? Say hey, good morning. You ready? Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to watch each other's videos. You guys are going to see the full videos when our celebrity, mystery celebrity judges are watching them. But we're just going to react to ours quickly now and just see what they look like. Okay? Oh, Who wants to go no, first? You. I want to see yours no, first. Yeah, we want to see yours first. Okay. The first shot. So That's random. The little slide That's me. Okay, you ready, guys? Yeah. Look how dusty they look. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, we're just going to point out that our blinds look really, oh really God. dusty, but we didn't notice that till we started editing. Yeah, I was like, oh, look at all the fingers. Let's just ignore oh the dusty gosh. blinds. Because she never knew how to <laughs> Baby duck now. <laughs> oh, and no, I was going to say, yeah, you can do that. That's yes. very good. Very creative. So can you start by telling us your name you and Chloe feel when you start to leave? <laughs> <laughs> that was good, very good. It was yeah. hilarious. So funny. It was so funny. I, I don't I can't even look serious ever again. I told you I could act. Oh God, that was jokes. That was so good. Oh okay, so you confident? You you ready to send yours off to yeah. our mystery celebrity judges? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Were you confident yeah. with ours? Any changes we need to make? No. Okay, let's send them. Yeah, the dusty lights. Three weeks later, the next day, two hours later. Okay guys, so we're gonna tell you right now who our celebrity judges are, and it is Peter Andre and his daughter Princess. Yay! Yay! Oh, thank you so much guys for getting involved, and thank you for helping us settle this. <laughs> Bruh. Cute. <laughs> hey Dad V girls, uh, me and Princess are going to be your celeb judges today, so uh, we can't wait to see your pitch, right? Mm-hmm. Better be good. Oh, it's going to be Pressure's good. On. Yeah. Well, on. one of them's going to be good. So guys, the moment you've all been waiting for, here is Sarah and Casey's video oh, pitch. No. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Oh, here no. it is. Welcome back to GBD News. Today we're talking about duckings. Hey guys, and today we're talking about a very important topic. Should Grace and my dad get ducklings? So today we've invited a very special guest who is actually a duck <sighs> expert. So thank you so much for coming on the show today. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. So can you start by telling us your name please and occupation? So my name is Sheila. Sheila Duckworth. I am a duck therapist. A duck expert, some would say. Can you please elaborate on that? Of course. So, like a therapist to the stars, I am a therapist to the duck. I've been practicing now for about 15 years. What is the reality of raising ducklings? Well, they are incredibly messy. So messy. You thought children were messy. You haven't had ducklings yet. You have to change their bedding regularly. They are loud. Have you asked your neighbours if they mind being woken up by these ducklings? And they poo. Ugh. Everywhere. I, I, I'm not just talking one or two. It's everywhere. I once spoke with this lady. Um, a lovely, lovely lady she was. What was her name? What was her name? Um... Oh, Susan. Or was it Karen? So Susan once, you know, she had a farm, she had ducks, she had horses, and she had chickens. But which one do you think was the hardest work? Because she told me, which one do you think? Um, I guess the horses? No. Well, that's what I thought too. But it was these little ducklings. Would you recommend someone with allergies to duck feathers, my dad who can't even sleep with feathers in his pillows, to raise ducks? <sighs> no. Ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. With the duck equipment, would you say there's any dangers? Well, of course, you know, a little bit of the uh, duck bedding in your eye. <laughs> oh, that was a little 
Little joke there, little joke. Just to finalise, would you recommend a family getting baby ducklings? And I would say no. It is a lot of hard work and a lot of responsibility. Are you really ready? for that responsibility. Unfortunately, we have run out of time, but thank you so much for coming on today. No, thank you so much. I have a quick question. Tell me, Sophie, how will you and Chloe feel when these ducks leave? Yeah. Okay, now let's talk about Grace and my dad raising these ducklings. So here we have a picture of my dad. Cute. And here we have a picture of Grace. Cute. And a picture of the ducklings. Of course, cute. But now let's go to their bedrooms. My dad, messy. This is Grace's bedroom, messy. And as you've been told, the ducklings are very messy. So my dad and sister can't even keep their habitats clean. My mum has to help them with everything. So how are they going to be responsible enough to keep the ducklings clean? So to round this whole presentation off, do I think my dad and Grace are responsible to have ducklings? No. Do I think they'll just leave it all to mum to do? Yeah. Now the decision is in your hands, Peter and Princess. Please pick my mum and me to win. Bye! <laughs> okay, so Sheila Duckworth. Got Guys, you're out. never no, you're never gonna let that down. That was hilarious. I was trying to get Casey to be the character and I, she just was like No, no you definitely played it better. <laughs> okay, so let's see what Peter and Princess thought. See, I don't know. I mean, the duck expert, she knew what she was talking about. There was no ducking and diving. She was straight in. She's like, these are a handful. And I think, I have to agree with her. I think they'd be a handful. At this point, I agree with both sides because ducklings are probably really hard to, like, handle. But then at the same time, I would love to have them myself. So. Yeah, but you, yeah, but just loving having them. But what about all the cleaning and all the messing? I mean, you know, in this family, it'd be Dad left to clean it all up. No, it'd actually be me. You would do that? Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm going to say no for now. By the first pitch, I'm quite convinced ducks are out. I'm not too sure yet. Ooh, controversial. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can convince Peter with mine and Grace's pitch. So here you go, guys. The real thing you've been waiting for is mine and Grace's video, and here it is. I want to tell you a story about a little boy called Joel. Psst. It's me, by the way. He was a fairly happy young chappy, but he knew there was something missing in his life. Until one day, his mum and dad came home with a little baby chick for him. They became the best of friends. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. He knew that his life would never be the same. Oh, you and I, we got it. But sadly, the baby chick died after only two weeks. But because of the love that he shared with his baby chick, he was able to love others, share his feelings, and go on to have his own loving family. Now I want to tell you a story of a girl called Grace. Psst, it's me. Grace's parents never bought her baby chick or duck, so she never got to experience the love of a baby chick or duck, so she never found true love. Because she never knew how to love, she spent her sad, lonely nights watching Netflix and eating ice cream under her only comfort of a duvet. All I want is for my kids to experience the same magical bond with a baby chick or duck that I did. Is that so much to ask? Would you like a baby duck? Yes, I will go and get a baby duck. What will you call that baby duck? Sophie. <gasps> Sophie, that's such a great name. Baby duck. You want a baby duck? Yeah. And what would you like to name the baby duck? Coco. Coco? Coco. Oh, wow. Baby. baby Coco duck. We're here to tell you facts. So most of you might know that my dad is allergic to duck feathers. But did you know that the feathers on a baby duck are actually not the same as an adult duck? And there's actually no evidence to show that anyone will be allergic to these feathers. So we say, that's a fact. fact. So you might be wondering, what happens when the ducks go and Sophie and Chloe might have some emotional trauma? Well, we've already given that quite a lot of thought and we've done extensive research into this. 
and it's actually a fact that kids are very good at saying goodbye to pets. It's actually adults that find it very difficult to let go of pets. This is a fact. And last but certainly not least, you may be wondering if me and Grace are actually capable of looking after a pet duck and being responsible and really being tidy, because we're not the tidiest people, are we, Grace? No. But if you take, for example, Grace's hamster, Millie, Grace has proven herself to be a responsible pet owner, clean, tidy, and her hamster, Millie, is always well fed. And I'll tell you what that is. That is a fact. fact. Big tick on that one. So we know it's not that practical for us to keep ducks at our house as they grow bigger, we don't have the space, we don't have a pond, we don't have a lake. So a local farm contacted us and said that we can hatch the baby ducks and then once they've grown bigger they can live on a farm with a big lake and roam around freely. So that means that we get to be happy, the baby ducks get to be happy and mum and Casey will be happy because they won't have the stress of having to worry about these ducks if they get bigger. Yeah. Everybody wins. So when they say duck no, we say duck yeah. Duck yeah. Duck yeah. The biggest comment from Sarah is the dusty blinds that me and Grace filmed. I didn't realise how dusty the blinds were. Can we get over the dusty blinds and just go no, like, our pitch can't. was good. Like It was funny. How well. jokes was Grace was so, under the duvet? Was. That, that was, was so very nice. cute. I, I feel like he's going to be persuaded by that. Right, right let's, let's see. see what they have to say. Okay, ready? That was quite an emotional pitch. Very convincing. <laughs> was very emotional. Convincing. And they've got a hamster called Millie, which is your sister's name, my daughter's name. And Sophie and Coco does sound good. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I mean, I, I, st I'm just not sure. I mean, come it on, was princess. So because we're hoping that you're going to they're going to hatch it and then put them on farms. Then they're going to live such a good life. But I still haven't made my decision. So. What did you think about the fact that they've got a, a house? They said they haven't got room to grow them, but they're going to do it, which shows love, right? It shows love. It shows commitment. But I'm yeah. still not sure. I'm swaying, I'm swaying towards Joel here. Oh. Um, <laughs> let me have a think about this. We need a bit of me time. Too. I need to mull this over. Just give me, just give us about, it's going to take some time. I'd say 30 seconds. We'll come back to Oh, the anticipation. <laughs> I'm like, I don't really mind what they say. Like, I still think it'd be nice to have I feel like before we find that answer, because if they say that yes, then a hundred percent it has to be you two, not not us. We yeah. aren't cleaning them. Yeah, we, we are. No, like, we, me and Grace, we've got 100%, this. We've 100%. Got this. 100%. I don't All right, come on. Let, I, I can't wait any longer. What are they saying? Let's find out. Okay, so we have the decision. Took us a long time. <laughs> yeah. Thirty seconds is a long time when you're having to really <laughs> think. It, it actually took us about like. Three minutes. Well, that's why it felt like a long 30 seconds. <laughs> um, what do you reckon? I am going to have to say that I choose Joel and Grace just oh, because, yes. just because I know the ducks are going to get, the chicks, whatever. Sorry, when you said duck, I just naturally. They're going to get very well taken care of. And yes. Yeah. That's good. That's yes. really good. Absolutely. I'd rather you say yeah. chicks, because every time you say duck, I keep thinking that something's... <laughs> been thrown at me, so let's say chicks for this. So you're going to go with. I'm your... going with Joel and Grace. Mm. Okay, yes. well, my decision is slightly different. Oh. No, it's not. I'm yeah. going to go with Joel and Grace. I agree. You know, you guys are offering they love. Both. Yes, so convincing. Grace. Yeah, but you're offering love and stability, and you really look like you're going to take care of these guys. So I reckon go for it. And you know that little picture you showed at the end um, oh, of the second pitch, the one? yellow one with the, just cut the hair a little bit. Just give him a little, <laughs> yeah. nice little fade and trim. <laughs> He'll look amazing. <laughs> Good luck and Good let luck. us know how you go with those ducks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, thank you so no, much, no, no, no. that was amazing. Yes, thank you so much guys. You made the right decision. And it looks like me and Grace I'll get and you. this but, family are going to be getting baby ducks. But There's if no I have to clean up after, I swear I'm going back to Peter and Princess. <laughs> well, you won't. They so made the right decision. 
Guys, thank you so much for doing that for us. Hopefully we get yeah. to meet you one day after lockdown and thank you in person. Thank you so much. And uh, guys, watch this space. Make sure you subscribe, notification bell on because there should be a video coming very soon where we will be getting ducklings. <laughs> Bye. Bye.